Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. We're about to watch Halo episode four. Uh, last episode. Hmm. Trying to remember everything that happened. I know we got introduced to Cortana. Uh, Chief took his pellet out. He's starting to feel emotion now. Um, Quan is with Soren, right? Uh, yes. Going to magical. Yeah. So pretty interesting. I really enjoyed the last episode seeing that side of Chief. Um, any thoughts, Blake? Um, I thought it was. I think we we said this um, last week that that was the best episode. Um, which in hindsight still holds up. Um, seeing Chief in a really like emotionally sensitive state is really interesting and unique. Um, we haven't really seen that before. We've seen him get emotional, like with Cortana in the games, but, um, it's been a long time since I've read the book, so I don't remember everything. I'm sure there's something comparable at least not necessarily the same. Cause I don't think the, uh, pellets were a thing in the books. And I could be speaking out of my ass, but, I just thought that was um, very well done because they're they're going down this road of like this emotional um, super soldier that isn't as you know faceless as he is in the games or in the in the books to an extent. So it's interesting how they've committed to this uh, angle, this part of the story, and. I like what they're doing so far, as I'm keeping an open mind, of course. Yeah, I agree. And um, another thing we got to see last episode that I was really excited for, um, there are hunters. And mm. yeah, I'm ready to see them all armored up and fighting because we only got to see the uh, the worm form. Yeah, we got a, we got a sh little almost butt pick of uh of one of them yeah <laughs> but uh they didn't get my it was just like a tease so now this show i like the direction it's going i really do um yeah and they've they've just done a a pretty good job so far in my opinion i might like our expectations were pretty damn low because a lot of these adaptations kind of bomb and then after the first episode, we were a little uneasy. And now we're three episodes in and we're like, you know what? This isn't that bad. Yeah, so, it's been really good so far. Exceeded my expectations. So that's for sure. You want to read some comments? Yeah, let's read some comments from the last episode. We got Daniel Guisinger. Giesinger? I don't know. Uh, he says, it's going to put Soren and Quan on Magical at the same time the Covenant arrive at Magical. You can see the story coming together with the Covenant getting to reach by the end of the season. Also, the description of the quarantine event on Chief's home planet sounds an awful lot like the Flood. Uh, we did not put two and two together of Soren and Quan being on Magical at the same time as uh, the girl, the Covenant girl going to magical so that was like right in front of our face and we didn't see it so yeah <laughs> um but that that's cool uh that's an interesting dynamic i wonder how that's going to play out the covenant getting to reach by the end of the season that is something that i'd kind of thought about they would show and if they do like if they actually attack reach and glass reach I am going to lose my mind. Like seeing that in live action is going to be so cool. Um, I just that that would be the perfect way to go about this story because I I didn't think the timeline of like Reach stilling be still being alive made sense at the moment, but now like them having Reach fall at the end of um, the first season would just be the perfect perfect cliffhanger into season two like mm. and then the uh, part about the flood i mm, it could be i think that would just be too good to be true to get the flood uh 
coming like to that planet as they were terraforming it, right? That's what they were doing. Yeah. Some kind of like atmosphere adaptation kind of thing. Um, and as far as I know, the flood were locked away on a halo ring, right? I believe so. And roughly, I remember in Halo 1, that's where you're uh, fighting them. Yeah, I, I, or, I, I remember the mission. It's some kind of like installation um, on the Halo ring. Isn't the mission uh, called like the library or something where you're fighting something the like that? I think so. Um, so unless there's something I don't know about flood lore, um, or they are kind of just reinventing the flood lore for this series, which that's totally possible. They've done pretty much everything else differently. Um, I don't know if that's really a possibility, but I'm open to it. So let's head on to our second comment. All right. We got Joseph Carr and he says, has master chief ever felt happiness? Has he, ever felt anything like i don't know much about the games but he always seems like he's just business all the time yeah i agree um i mean from what i've seen of him over the years he's he's pretty serious uh he just he does what he's there to do gets the mission done uh eliminates the covenant flood brutes whatever stands in his way um so yeah seeing emotion out of him like on this scale i don't think we ever have we've seen little flashes here and there i'm not sure about the books i haven't read those but yeah yeah um it, it it's a slippery slope really because like i said i haven't read the books in a long time i do remember him obviously having more um i guess emotions just in general in the books because you get more of the like inner thought the the first person dialogue um but it's really not much more than what we get in the games like i think i just said it a little bit ago um his relationship with cortana drives a lot of his motivations in the games and so those are uh, emotions that aren't necessarily as out outright as the ones are in the show, because a you get to see his face, and b um, he's just he's just way more emotional. But that's not to say he's never like felt love, because that is like I want to say like the key underlying narrative in the halo games is his relationship with cortana and then his relationship with halsey and it's the in the in the books his relationship with like samuel and fred and kelly and linda and like all the other spartan twos so spartan three spartan two whatever it is um so he has felt it to an extent but i just don't think we've ever seen it anywhere close <laughs> to what we're seeing now so yeah, I'm excited to see um, Chief's relationship with Cortana develop in this show because right now they just met. He was a little uh, pessimistic about her, um, but she's starting to build trust with him. And that's mainly because of Halsey, like getting her to do so. But I feel like they're going to develop a real bond Um because so far, like, he's really only used her as a, as an advanced Google search and to pick a lock, but I'm sure there's more to come. Yeah, and I mean, it's also going to be interesting to see how Cortana balances, you know, her, her mission directive and um, Halsey and then her relationship with Chief. I think that's going to be really fun to dive into. Oh, wait, I forgot uh, one more thing. He used her to perform surgery on himself and remove the pellet. Um, she was staring uh, at his butt. So there's that. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. there was that other um, female Spartan uh, that was peeping. Do you know Kai, her name? I think I think her name was Kai. Although that could be the other girl. So not sure. <laughs> All right. Well, is that everything? 
That's everything. All right. Well, let's watch this episode. But before we do, if you like our content, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know. If you want to be notified of when we post videos, uh, you can hit the noti bell. We have links in the description, including our Patreon, where you can watch the full-length reactions to our series. Um, we also have links to our social media, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram. We post clips over there. Blake just put a really funny one up on TikTok recently. And we're doing a giveaway once we hit 1,000 subscribers. We're getting pretty close. We're within like 75. So um, the details for that giveaway you can find on our community tab on the channel or in the season finale video we did for Book of Boba Fett. And with that being said, let's watch the episode. Oh, that's Kai. There's Soren. So it's just a bunch of the Spartans. Yep, this is their training. Master Chief. Of all the young Spartans, I believe that you have the skills and the natural ability to be their leader. In fact, I'm counting on it. You're going to save all of us. I like the way that was uh, similar to the talk they had when he came back, when they were just sitting yeah. on... What is that, a bench or a bed? <laughs> I, I think it's supposed to be a bed. How Very uncomfortable it? one. Yeah. Spartan like. My data suggests you are experiencing anxiety. Is this what anxious feels like? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Master Chief is anxious. I never thought I'd see the day. Wow, that looks cool. Looks like some great. Jupiter rings. Yeah. Or actually Saturn has more Saturn, rings, doesn't yeah. it? Okay. Does Jupiter even think, have a ring? I think Jupiter has them, you can't see them. Saturn okay. has them, you can see them. I see. It's been a while since I've touched up on my space knowledge. Yeah, same here. Is she gonna take out her pellet too? Kai. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh. Okay. Okay? Did she did she take it out? Okay. I'm not sure. They showed the knife. Oh. She's washing the knife, so. See you later. Yeah. I'm thinking she did. <laughs> They're acting so weird oh, with yep. each other. Okay, she, she did. did. Yikes. <laughs> the whole Spartan program is about to go off the rails. Yeah, I'm glad she took hers out too. I I didn't know if she was gonna do that or if she was gonna report him. Oh yeah, I didn't think she would report him. They're too loyal. I love that. Mm -hmm. Just the subtle shit, I love it. Just keep your head down, and your mouth shut. Yeah, this isn't gonna go the wrong way at all. No, how could this ever backfire? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess she literally knows nothing. Like, not even what stuff feels like. Yeah. This is a really fun dynamic to this show, I'm going to be honest. So, what is that exactly? Because she's used to get to like kind of dye her hair, but I, it looked like she was cleaning her gun. So I is that like no gun idea. grease? No idea. <laughs> My guess would have been like, yeah, some kind of grease, but then she put it in her hair. So, I don't know. Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay. Hello, Spartans. Thank you for coming. What, if anything, makes John so special? He's the master chief. <laughs> it's yes, pretty special. Is. I'll go first, ma'am. Here are there, Kai125? Yes, ma'am. 100%. Why does she have to call them by their numbers? Okay. I want to see Kai take her helmet off and just have the red Coming streaks up, in her hair. I feel like it's going to be nothing. Yeah, or something. Oh, the stuff yeah, from his past, drawing. like his drawing. I don't recognize this one. That's the Halo ring, right? They're all identical. In a way. Bro, this is just like a terrible idea. <gasps> yeah. Come on. It's dangerous here. Mm-hmm. No shit. Tell me, what's the plan? 
If anyone was going to take over the rebel forces, it was you. And yet you are the only one Vincha didn't kill. Oh. How much is Vincha paying you to sell out the rebellion? You're putting us all. You're a traitor. Hmm. All of you. Kai one two five, you're up next. So Kai is going to be able to connect with it because she took out her pellet. You're gonna need to remove your helmet. Mm. Can't find the electronics. You just know Halsey'll send me. There the it is. Okay. <laughs> is anything wrong, ma'am? Your hair. You don't care for us, do you, Doctor? Hair. Gives you that idea. Just a hunch. <laughs> I love this shit. I love how every episode just leaves Miranda looking like a yeah. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> oh, I like the little radar in the bottom left. Mom hung my drawings over here. It's showing friendlies on it. Can I see it? That's crazy. So it wasn't a ring, it's a hole. <laughs> Are you controlling this? Correct again? That's ten in a row. Should we try again? Yeah. Oh, I remember this from the books. He calls it every time? Hell. <laughs> well, aren't you the lucky one? John, are you alright? Uh oh. Looks a little irritated. <laughs> that that whole scene was amazing. I know I didn't say much, but I was just uh, so yeah. immersed. There wasn't much to say. Yeah, just enjoyed it. Have you ever heard of Grunt beg for his life? Pathetic. <sighs> kind of funny, actually. Oh, Covenant had the best. <laughs> kind of funny. No question. Scoping it out. Literally. Shit, shit. What the hell are you doing? Get my ship and going home. And it's like a 357. Uh, Gold plated. Stuff. What kind of pirate are you? I that whole storyline is annoying me. You're late. What the hell? This requires a professional. You want me to handle it. I feel like that's her aunt. Maybe. Okay, Soren. Oh, that's her. And let me look at you. They just tried to drunk a Spartan. <laughs> you should not have returned. It's my time. Cake. Whichever side failed lost their pets. What, she took them away from you? No. Not exactly. She had us eliminate them. Damn. I was on the winning side nine times before I lost. I failed on my third mission. I never lost. So, you're gonna have to keep Ivan. Dr. Halsey eliminated it. Wow. We're starting to see the gruesome side of Halsey. Yeah. Why were you here? It's natural. Memories get muddled. Particularly mm. where trauma's involved. Do you think he's gonna figure out that she's lying? Or does he already uh, know? I think he already knows. It's just in the back of his head. Yeah. I feel like if he sold I mean if he sold the Peloton, this wouldn't even be an issue, but he probably yeah. would not even question whatever she said. Where can I find these mystics? Quad. No. What was that? I feel like her aunt's about to die. Oh, no. Just knocked out. Hello, one. Dead. Let's go. That's some nice plot armor. Yeah. You haven't been completely honest with me. <laughs> what, what do you mean? My hair. It's awful. 
No. I just <laughs> don't know what came over me. A, a small act of rebellion, maybe against Halsey. Mm. Against a lot of things, maybe. I don't know about it being a small <laughs> act of rebellion. Yeah, I have sacred ring. Mm. Look. Halo. Mm. Of the Do you music. Know the covenant I'm talking about? Yep. Uh, you know, the way I see it, we're sort of like sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, Petty Officer, there's something very odd about you. Ma'am? <laughs> That's very I nice of her. Design everything to her specifications. Yeah. <laughs> we'll send. She's dedicated her life's work to finding those answers. And she'll never give up. Got chills, man. This is so good. No yeah. matter the cost. Kai, your act of rebellion could just be a glitch. But if I know Dr. Halsey, she doesn't tolerate glitches. Oh. Mm. She doesn't tolerate glitches, and it uh, panned in on Cortana yeah. in the back of his head, so that's how Halsey's going to try to deal with that. Um, wow. Uh, I just... I'm with you, man. I, I, I don't this shit. <laughs> I don't know where to start. <laughs> like, like, I love this shit. I, I cannot just... Wow. Um I I I really like that it's this this different story. And like I know we talked um towards the beginning of the series about how if they had just made the Halo games into live action, it would have been great, it would have been perfect. And I still believe that to be true. But this shit is just so different. But it's tr it's still true to the character. Yeah, like H Halsey, they nailed her, dude. Like spot on, perfect casting, perfect writing, and to have them explore the Miranda Halsey dynamic a lot more than they did in the games is is terrific. And I just I love Kai. I, and I, I think she's so awkward and funny. Um, not intentionally funny, but just funny because um, she doesn't have somebody in her head to tell her what she's feeling. So she's feeling all this weird shit and dyeing her hair with weapon grease. And, oh, there's just, there's so much good. The only thing I hate, let's start there. Let's start there, okay? The only thing I hate about this series is fucking Quan, bro. Like, that arc is so stupid. Yeah. Like, I, I'm hoping that it gets like a good resolution because right now, you know, she goes to Madrigal with a uh, Soren and like everyone she goes to see, it's just not working out for her. like, um, I forgot the lady's name, the one she called a traitor, but yeah, she kind of put two and two together. Like uh, if everyone else got generals. executed, yeah, one of her father's generals, if you didn't get executed, obviously you sold everyone out and then she goes to see her aunt to get some money for Soren and she ends up getting killed by that um assassin lady also forgot her name I don't know if you remember I don't that even one. think we, we learned her name okay but yeah and she's still out and about I mean she took a gunshot or two but you gotta worry about her um but I, I hope she's able to, like, find the help she needs and restore balance there. Because the Venture guy, uh, you know, the dude we saw his butt for, like, 15 yeah. seconds straight for <laughs> whatever reason. I don't know. This show has some very uh, cheeky shots, I've noticed. Um, but, yeah. Like, like cheeky is in cheeks? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Venture guy is no good. He's straight yeah. evil. So no, that dude, and he's a tremendous actor too. He's in a uh, Pacific Rim. I don't yeah. know if you saw that, but I've seen just, Pacific he, Rim. He, 
he's like a method actor. I don't know if he actually is, but that's the the vibe his role gives off is he's just so locked into the character that he just plays the roles perfectly. Um, but nah, man, my thing with the, the Quan arc is I, I can get behind a young, uh, rebellious teenager who wants to restore her father's honor. Like, I don't know. Avatar The Last Airbender, in a way. But this entire, st- like, her entire arc just lacks logic. Like, Soren going with her makes no sense. And then, on top of that, the plot armor that's going on, like, him taking three shots at the assassin and only hitting one. Yeah, He's a Spartan. I understand he's not locked in like he was when he was in the service, like when he was actually in the UNSC, but he's a Spartan. You don't miss shots. And from like, like 10 feet away, a a target that's standing still, it's not like, no, it just, that was, that was bad. (laughs) And then when they're getting on the bike and everybody gets out of the car and starts shooting at him and they just casually don't get shot. I'm like, yeah, um, oh, I'm glad I like the other arcs in the shoot because took that out one's bad. Quite a few of them, though, with his revolver. But uh, it, it, it yeah, it's, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It, it's not the um, if, if a story lacks logic, I cannot get behind it. And this little mini arc is just like there, there's nothing, no excuse, none I can make at least. Yeah, but. I definitely prefer the main arc with Chief and Halsey right now, and um, I enjoyed Miranda talking about Halsey to Kai, the way she described her. You know, once uh, mm-hmm. her creations start acting, I would she say different or like human? Yeah, yeah, she like cuts them off, but with Chief, she's just gonna try to regain control of him because See, I think to, she, mm-hmm. I, I was going to say, I, I don't think she feels like she's lost control of chief because she put Cortana in her head in his head. Yeah. That's why she's letting him go so far off the rails without correcting it because she knows she has this fail safe of Cortana can just um, take over at whatever time she wants. Um, but what I think is going to happen is, um, Cortana's gonna side, side with, Chief. with Chief. I agree yeah. on that. Yeah, they're they're gonna have they're gonna develop a bond, and even when uh Cortana like first came into the operation, she was kind of questioning Halsey. You know, why don't I have yeah full control? But so that like, was once, on like the opposite side of it, right? But once Cortana does get full control, um, then. I feel like you're right. She will side with Chief and make the the right decision. That's one thing I find a little weird that they ventured off of was the chip in the games and the books can be removed. They drove yeah. this this AI right into his brain. Yeah, because the chip in the games it goes in the back of the helmet like a memory card, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas yep. on here, like you said, they drilled it in. So uh, that's going to be a little interesting, but overall, dude, like if, if we took Quan out of the show, I would, I would love this show. It's only because of that arc that I have even like a semblance of like, ugh. but the, yeah. the things I mean, they're doing with chief and the Spartans is with Quan, the, the show kind of started with her and her arc so I'm, I'm just hoping that at the end of it it picks up because it might be a rocky ride in the middle but it can still have a good um ending yeah i mean can be hopeful but yeah there's something has to has to twist because honestly, this whole thing of her going to magical just is so stupid i want to see kwan kill an elite or like the lady assassin or someone important you know yeah be badass but 
Well, um, yeah, I think we covered it. I love Halsey. I love that we saw the coin flip. I, I, I don't, do you not know what that is? No. That was her, like, I don't remember it specifically, like what it specifically is, but it's how she tested Spartan candidates. Because, like, they would be able, kids that are smart enough to nail the Spartan, that test, are smart enough to join the Spartans or something something like that. I just okay, remember yeah. it being a, a big part of the lore. I didn't know. Um, like, if it was based off of his mechanical skill, if he could, like, flip it perfectly to, like, make it land on what he wanted, or if he was just really lucky. I wasn't sure how he was doing that 11 times in a row. It, it's like... It's his neural, like, superiority, basically. So. Okay. It's fantastic. I love this show. Agreed. Love it. Well, that's all I got. All right. Well, um, if you guys like this reaction, make sure to like, subscribe. We got links in the description, Patreon, uh, social media. We're doing a giveaway, like I said in the beginning. And, um, yeah, that's about it. You got anything else to add, Blake, or we good to go? See you next week, boys and girls. Right. See y'all then.